that? What? That's the sun. Dude, I didn't know they had that here. That's the first time we've been here for five days since Sunday. So this yeah. is day six. We've been here, this is day six. That's the first time I've seen the sun. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are at Suncor's base mine, the Millennium mine is just out there. We were there the other day, but today we're focused more on the equipment side of things because we're with heavy metal equipment. They're a rental company out here. I always thought of rental equipment like skid steers, telehandlers, maybe, maybe articulated trucks. However, up here, it's more so 24 graders, 797s, PC8000s. So what happens is the mines operate and own part of the fleet that's required to get the oil sand out of the ground. Everything else is either typically contractors or rental equipment. They like to keep a certain amount of iron on their balance sheet and then they rent some of the other iron to keep that balance sheet nice and trim so they can use that capital in other places. So they rent from companies like Heavy Metal that specialize in the big kind of iron. So we're just gonna see some rental machines today like this 24. It's a, it's a rental 24 grader. This is probably one of the only places in the world where you can actually rent a 24 grader. So we're gonna see what it takes to maintain these machines and they have a PC8000 we're gonna go look at out in the field. We're gonna check out what's the heck's going on here. Hopefully give all of you a better look at what it takes to rent and maintain equipment in the oil sands in winter, one of the harshest places to operate equipment in the world. If you look really closely, you can see the issue here. Yeah. <laughs> see, what we're doing on this one is the front end is getting worn out, so we're sure. replacing the pins. Uptime is key on a rental machine, so they'll do inspections every once in a while to see what needs to be taken care of. They discovered these pins need to be replaced to keep the front wheels on, obviously. So that's what they're doing here. Just a little suspension work, and then this machine will be back to work. Today is by far the coldest day. It is minus 18 Celsius, which is around minus two degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but they said that's even warm. My nose is getting a little frozen. So here is the blade of this 24 grader. And as, as you can see, this is, this is an enormous grader, but when you're grading haul roads in oil sand, which is typically a terrible material to drive on for ultra class trucks, you need big graders. So right here, me standing next to it, it looks like a big machine, but grand scheme of things, this is necessary out here and anything smaller, is almost worthless. In the winter, they'll run these, essentially these serrated cutting edges, which cut into that very top layer of the haul roads and gives the haul roads, the tires on the haul trucks better traction, especially as they're going up slopes when it's cold and frozen. So every grader I've seen out here this time of year has had these serrated edges on it to flatten out the roads, but provide that, that traction. It's almost comical how big these things are. Wow, but get the get the whole machine. Isn't that ridiculous? It's so long. <laughs> but the, the haul roads are so big that this machine can turn around no problem on the haul roads. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. Oh, just the sun. It comes up once a once a day. Oh, hell yeah. We're just about to leave the yard to go at some, look at some big equipment, but I just wanted to highlight the really big equipment. It's right here. Cat 279D3. This is one hell of a machine. You wanna know what it's here for? <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. It's to haul around some of the parts 
for the bigger equipment because these cylinders, all of these parts, they're extremely heavy. You can't move them around even with some of these cranes. So yeah, they have a, a skid steer here dedicated to just moving parts around. Shovel time, Komatsu PC 8000, getting some work done to it. This is preventative maintenance, so they'll ask the mine to take it down for a specific period of time. During that time, they will review the machine, they will do whatever PM maintenance is needed, and then they will do whatever else they find, whatever additional maintenance is needed, so that this machine can ideally, when it's up in production can stay producing as much as possible. An amazing stat that he just told me while we were driving here is that they can walk this machine for about 10 minutes at a time and then they have to cool it down for about 30 minutes because there's so much weight on that undercarriage as it's moving along that if they run it for more than about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it starts to overheat even when it's this cold out. It's a big machine. Okay, it's really big when you're standing right next to it. It is, yeah. You're ruining the aesthetic. That sounds really nice. That sounds... Can I get one more? <laughs> So this is the business end of the PC-8000. You can see it comes in two pieces. We have your back part of the bucket here that's attached to the machine. Then you have your front part of the bucket that essentially separates. So when it's digging, this part is connected with this part. It's going into the face, it's pushing in, and it's lifting up. Then it has that material up swings over to the truck and then this it opens like this kind of like a clamshell and all of the material falls out into the truck you can play a three person game of hot potato again yeah. oh yeah yeah dude you could easily set up like from here you could set up a basketball hoop yeah on yeah, that right there safe. and you could just sauce sauce it and it'll come right back down to you it's like one of those games at the at the arcade I'm gonna count how many stairs there are. 32. 32 stairs. 32 stairs. <sighs> it's not any warmer in here. It's not. My hands really hurt. Yeah. The hand warmers in the glove is helping, but uh, my fingertips are still. Your fingers, yeah. It's not as dripping out of my nose. It's falling onto the screen and, and instantly freezing over the screen. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> it's just so cold. <laughs> this is the coldest I've been in before. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty bad. We're in the cab of this PC-8000. It's beeping. All right, my, I can't feel my fingers. I can't see out of my glasses right now, but here we are. As you can see, we're on the right side of the machine. We have our big old bucket right in front of us. The visibility is actually amazing. We came up the stairs to my immediate right is a emergency access ladder. So you have two points of access, egress to the cab. I don't know what that is. Camera system for my blind side. And then this is what is gonna be my dispatch to, um, to know what trucks are coming my way, to know where my payload's at that kind of thing. Behind me is a microwave. Wow. Is that standard issue? Holy oh, shit. Oh, and a space heater. Nice. A space heater. I didn't even see the space heater. That's sick. One hell of a machine. You going into the belly of the beast? Yeah, let's go in. It'd be much warmer if it was running. Hello. Sorry, I don't mean to make a small space smaller. Uh -huh. 
go into this little room here. Yeah. yeah. That's the engine. Engines. Oh, there's two, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So these are the two PC-8000 engines. There's not one engine, there's two. Welcome to the engine room. Oh, my glove just stuck to that. How's that? PC-8000 engine room. Now the reason why we're able to be in here, obviously, is because this machine is out of service. It's not technically within the mine. It's all locked out. It's being worked on. So we can walk around. If this was operational, we wouldn't be able to be here, obviously. Oh my goodness. This is huge. Get lost in here. Yeah, I need a map. Uh, coming out. Here, Chase, check this out. Before I lose my lose my fingers here. All of the hydraulics necessary to run the front end of the shovel. There's ladders everywhere around this thing. got one on camera that was the first one I've gotten on camera this lens I dropped it while in Alberta two weeks ago there was something inside that was loose but it was working I put it on this morning not working anymore okay that's that with heavy metal thank you to heavy metal for having us out um, this is my first outro on the back end of a PC 8000 which is pretty neat it's amazing to see how big the equipment out here is, how much it takes to maintain these machines. Every one of these machines is so much energy, effort to keep it moving, to keep it mining, to keep it producing for society. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. I can't feel my hands right now. It's really cold. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay dirty and warm, everybody.